deal with different issues in life. So, and we've always really focused on going to the poor, really the poorest of the poor in the Philippines. And, you know, to me, they get grossly overlooked all the time. So it always costs us money and time and energy and effort to go to them mm -hmm. because nobody else wants to. Yeah. <laughs> and when, when people have some of these people come to our church, they make a big deal of it. And mm -hmm. the missionaries take their pictures with the people and all that. And, and that's fine. Whatever help they can get is awesome. But they're so used to people blowing in, blowing up and blowing out. Mm -hmm. And I want to put a dream center in Agda. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's over a hundred thousand people in this area. It's, there's so many people and it's split into different barangays, you know, we were talking about before. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really necessary to, to have a center of hope, mm -hmm. you know, a, a place where, where people can get involved on multi different levels. I don't, I, I guess I was never comfortable to just build a building for a church because I'm like, churches waste their buildings. Mm -hmm. Like they don't use them. They don't really impact society with them. They want to keep them too clean for the most part. Yeah. And for me, I don't, you know, I'm expecting that if we build something that it's going to be used. Yes. <laughs> it's going to have dust in it. You know, it's going to have to be clean regularly. We're going to have to fix things regularly. You know, I hopefully a it's built good, but you understand what I mean. You know, it just brings more opportunities, more things that need to get fixed is more opportunities. I think this is what lacks in impoverished areas, just opportunities. Like if they wanted to get a job to using those skills, they have to go so far. And that distance is what prevents that opportunity. If you're bringing something that brings opportunity to that area, then it can start yeah. uplifting that area. Mm -hmm. If something does break, you can pay somebody local to fix that thing that's right. broken. They have the skills to do that stuff. Like it, it, you just need a hub of opportunity to really start mm -hmm. bringing up that stuff. Yeah. And you talked and about the, the trikes and all that stuff like, oh, oh yeah, having a hub where you can then just start testing those ideas. I'm very excited for that. We want to help you get your time back. So click the link below to get your free download.